Yo, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you guys how to do the velocity because so many people have been asking about the velocity. So, let's get right into it. Dance when the bass hit, dab on the spaceship, me and all my mother... Uh, by the way, the intro playing, I just made that intro for fun in After Effects and... Yeah, I just want to use it because I think it's pretty nice. I'm not going to use it in like every video, but yeah, I just want to use it like once or twice. So first of all, get your song. I'm going to use Do Dead People Dream from Skylord, his new album. I really fucking love this new album. So so once you've gotten your song, you know, you just like um, line up the part of the clip you want and stuff. So I will just do that and I cut the um, music to when I want to use it. So once this is lined up, you know, kind of, you should not line it up, up totally because you do velocity anyways, so it doesn't really matter. But you know, so you have the part you want. Kind of at the drop. So now I've marked this at the pumps and stuff. And then you just right click on velocity. And there you go. Now you have the velocity line. And um, yours probably going to be green. But I just uh, changed the color. Basically velocity is really easy. So you have three keyframes. But the middle one. You're going to take this one up. And that will increase the speed. So you will get like faster speed here and stuff. Yeah, now you will have like faster speed. And you need to have those ones normal or at other speed you want, like 50 or something. So, like, remember to do this what I just did, like, right click slow and fast. So it gets more smooth. This looks, like, really bad for sure because I just did that to show how it works. Basically, we would need to maybe change the start to 200 and then, you know, get it to slow motion like it is here. You know, you just start uh, making everything so it matches up because i don't want too much speed here at the drop you see it was going kind of fast and i don't really want that so we'll just turn this uh, start down to 150 to uh, match it better up and we still need this slower so i uh, just make that one fast as well so it will go faster to 30 percent And then we don't want, or we can actually. So since this is not really lined up, we can do this 40%. And now you see uh, we got it working. So I don't want this to be that fast. So we'll just um, keyframe this in really fast again. So it's 50% fast. So. so now you timed up the drop. And basically that's what you do at every other part. And that's also how you do it with split running. So yeah, at the other parts it doesn't really matter because we don't have anything special happening. So just remember the key, uh, free keyframes and then you would be good, I guess. And yeah, I'll just find when to end at this song. So I figured out it would be good there. So we'll just uh, do this. And I don't want them to show menu. So we will reverse. That's kind of handy to explain why. Yeah, now I did a reverse clip so it will not show this OBS. Can't really see it's even reverse, so that's good, I guess. Okay, so you got this clip lined up now, and that's basically how I do velocity. Having the three points, taking the middle up, and just adjusting the other points, or in general, just adjusting all the other points, and remember, you can always right-click slow and fast stuff, so it will get more smooth. And yeah, that's basically it for the velocity tutorial. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.